So we've talked about the top 16. We're going to talk about the groups. We're going to go fast here, folks. So uh, bear with us, and uh, hopefully we can make it through this 10 minutes. Let's start right off. I mean, we've got four <clears throat> groups starting from the, from the get-go in the morning. Yep. We need to talk about the four people we see coming out of those groups. Yep. We've got, we've got group A, group B, group C, group D. That's four. That's four of them. And, uh, yeah, go for it. Let's do this. All right, so... Um, Who are your top four and my top four from group A? Group A, let's do this. I like Keith Hagen. I like Brett Thiel. I know that's a sleeper. A little bit of a sleeper for you. Mm. I like Fulton and I like Swan. You don't even know who Fulton is. No idea, but I've seen his record. Uh, I have the same. In fact, I think Keith Hagen and Corey Fulton are the most, two most likely to do serious damage out of the people outside of the top 16. Corey really? Fulton and Keith Hagen. Yep. Moving on to Group B. I told you we were going to go fast. Group B. I got John Hill in the number one spot. I'm serious. That guy is coming out hot. I've seen him play. I beat him by the, just the hair on my chinny chin chin. Anyway, we got uh, John Hill, Chuck Salmon. I, I know. Sorry, I got a. He's. I mean, look at the record. Joe Keitel, Jay Mankowski. Going with the ladies. Represent the ladies. Ladies, ladies, ladies. You're on Jay Mankowski. I'm on G Mankowski, and that G stands. Are for, you on G? That G stands for Gaylord. Gaylord Mankowski. Sean Johnson coming up from the thumb. John Hill. I also have him. He could be a real sleeper. Uh, you know, it's usually pretty hot. But do you think he'll be rocking the sweater vest that day? Boy, I'd like to see a sweater vest. I really would. I mean, if you've got like a mesh or a dry wick sweater vest, then this might be the time to bust that time out. Time to do it. Moving and on to I'll, group I'll C. I'll take Joe Keitel as number four. I like I Joe Keitel. I'm yeah. telling you. She's, I mean, she's legit. Group C. We both have Matt Young just dominating this group. Moving through. I've got, uh, I've got Carp, Joe Freshour. I like his game. I think he's underrated big time. I've got Brett Bowden, who is, is it a preschool or a kindergarten? Preschool. Yeah, that's best. Wholesome dude. Preschool teacher. So yeah, you do. And Jim Wenzel, who is, I mean, big, tall, stretch. Yeah, he's, um, you know, we have the same four there, different order. Uh, Matt Young, uh, he kind of crapped the bed last year and didn't do... Crapped the bed? I mean, crapped the bed? Do you think the question, the over-under on whether he wears, wears something plaid or flannel to Worlds is really... Plaid, flannel, or, or tight, like tight jeans? Yeah, like tight. Skinny jeans? Like something really... Emo uh, and like emo, emo, emo. It don't matter. He can ball. Brett Bowden can ball. Put he's been practicing with Keith Hagen. Uh, Jim Wenzel, Snoop can Hello? ball. Snoop Joe Freshour. I mean, the Godfather of Monkey Ball can ball. There's some ballers there. They can do it. Group D. This is where we uh, we differ a little. Lots of differ. Group D, in my opinion, is literally the antithesis of a bloodbath. This is the easiest group. In the tournament, cupcakes, if you, oh, cupcakes. flowers, Re let's talk kittens. about this. Rex Stanley yeah. is ranked 25th in the world and is the number one seed in this group. What does that tell you? Something is amiss. All right, he's a big dude, and I'm not messing with him. He's I'm not, a I'm not number messing one with you. Seed. I mean, he might mess with you. He's not going to mess with me. He's a nice, he's a chivalrous gentleman. Sure. What I'm saying is that he's going to get his ass beat by Michelle Salmon. Okay, so wait Michelle, a second. Yeah. You bag on Samoko all this time, and Michelle Salmon's gonna come up and beat I Rex bagged Stanley? on the boys of Samoko. Okay. Michelle, if you looked at her record, I mean, that girl, she's been just getting dragged to tournaments and doing fine. She can win. She so can win. all right, she can win, and I've got uh, I've got the other Dane Lane coming, and then I've got Mike Roy. The other M Dane Lane. M Dane Lane. That's right, Matt. Matt? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. We got too many Matts. All right, I got uh, I got Rex. He's gonna he, he's a competitor. He'll survive in advance. He'll make it number one. My number two is who I really like. I've never seen the man play, Mike Price. Rolling I, the dice. Rolling the dice. Rolling the dice, but he just he's got that natural, you can tell he's got that leisure sport, just eye-hand coordination. Doesn't he Beer work team. in an office? He works, he's a bowler. He's a, all right. He's a bowler. I think uh, he's going to surprise. He, he's visited before. He's never played. I expect big things out of Mike Price. Mike Roy, the big burly animal. God, he is big and burly. He's isn't a he? big lineman type. He's, some, he's, he's very some. intimidating. He'll be he'll be fine. And then Matt, uh, he'll be there. He'll All right, be there. Moving on. Sleepers. This is I mean this is where you really make your money as far as predictions goes. Yeah. Who who who's who's gonna do well? I think we should. That, that is not a top ranked person. Let's ramp up the drama here. Okay. Here are my sleepers. Go. I got Dylan Holland. All right. I took you out last year. He in did. the rain, just, I mean, it was coming down. Was he good? I, didn't, I never saw him. Here's the deal. 
he wasn't bad. Oh. And that is why he's a sleeper this year. I feel okay. like if you've put your work in over the last year, you're going to be there this year, buddy. Okay. I got you in the afternoon. You, you do your work in the morning, and I, got, I see good things for you. Jordan Cobb. <clears throat> I've got him there. Uh, and the only reason I've got our producer, our, our everything for these videos, there is because he's been there. He's felt the pressure. He's done increasingly well yeah. in the last couple worlds. And I think this is the time where he makes it to the afternoon, wins that first match, and who knows what happens after that. We've got Sean Johnson, the stranger, as we like to call him, just some dude like from where is he from? Hey, I, Mount like Morris. Langsburg, he, he found Palamo. us. Hey, he found us, and he's spreading the good word up Sp in the thumb. Spreading the good word, and I like to have him there, and I want to see him do well today. And I've got Price. I've got Mike Price just because I know he's coming from the Great Delancey Sports Authority. He's doing well. I, I I just think that if somebody's going to do well that I don't know, it's probably that dude. I like it. Who is mine? What? Nate Van Wylen, guess what? Just met him like a week ago. Who the hell is Van Wylen? Here's all you need to know about Van Wylen. Two things. One, he's competitive as hell. He wants to do well. Uh, three things. Two, he just moved to Michigan, lives in Ann Arbor. And three, his grandpa has a library named after him at Hope College. Dude, Go you're Dutch. such a Dutch Go whore. You're Dutchman. a Dutch whore. You constantly, the orange. Why aren't you wearing an orange shirt? I'm wearing blue. Make, a, make an orange monkey ball shirt. Anyway, we can't, we can't, we can't Nate, this time. Nate, represent. Adam Schrauben, he's been there every year. He just kind of makes it through. Doesn't do anything great, but he's always good. He'll be there. I don't like that pick. John Ross. John Ross. Uh, your buddy Jeff Kimberly bailed on you. That's all right. John, I've got, I think you're going to do well. Uh, I'm excited for you to be there. Dylan Holland, uh, I didn't see you play last year, but she says you got skills. He has I'll that like Ricky there. Barnes hat that he wears, like, like a, like a short, cut? like the short, the short little brim. I like that. He's got I style. Mean, I don't know. Matt I mean, Young and he might be up for like Monkey Ball Man of the Year. Based on that, I may just change, on fashion, change not that on pick. play. I may change that pick. You might, yeah, that might be wise. Okay. All right, moving on. The disappointers. Now, don't be offended, right? So we had to pick four. Both of us had to pick four here, so we're picking four. Okay. And unfortunately, I have to go first. The four most likely to disappoint. Tony Olds. He's number one on my list just because history would dictate that he doesn't do well at Worlds. Okay. He DJs like a mad fiend. Mm -hmm. On the ones and twos, that guy is awesome. And by that, I mean iPod. But when it comes to play, just hasn't shown up. Hasn't shown up and has disappointed. He shows up with the speakers and the music, and really, that's what's that's important. A winner that's in what's book. important, and I'll give you a hug, regardless of how you do. Uh, Rex, I think, as the number one seed in a group, you're expected to do well. Rex, I'm looking at that group, and I don't like your chances. You need to come, bick that head. Let's get crazy on this. And you did all right last year. I want you to do better this year, but I'm worried about you. I'll be honest. Next, I've got Megan Thayer. Mm. We were rival interns at a place of employment many yeah. years ago. I feel like the amount of beer consumed here is also key yeah. to her success. And by that, I mean keep it under wraps. <laughs> keep it under wraps. I don't know what that means. I don't either. <laughs> uh, and then I, I didn't name a fourth player. I just said Samoko because I feel like they're just not going to do as well as they keep Running their mouth that they're gonna do, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, that, that's yeah, bold. no, yeah, no. You were absolutely making Diplomat. a lot of you were making a lot of friends in Alabama today. It was and not yesterday unexpected. and the day before that. Um, Let's hear like yours. It. Let's hear like yours. It. Time for Just, uh, time for the commission to right, really Carl come out Swan. of the closet. Carl Swan is uh, my cousin's husband. Um, he, he, oh, you know, I want to see Carl do well, but he doesn't do it. He just doesn't do it, and then he whines about it and whines and whines. Hopefully he does well, but I don't see it happening. Tony right. Olds, two Ooh. years ago I predicted him to get to the quarterfinals. Both lists. Uh, I and he didn't. Like, it was kind of he kind of embarrassed me. It's my boy though, uh, my college roommate. Strong. Strong, <laughs> strong Tony. Uh, Bill Johnson. He, the last two years he's given me money to play. Yet another bowler. Last year he just didn't show up. I haven't heard from him. He gave me money to play this year, but I haven't heard from him since that transaction. What the French toast? Is he going to be there? Let's hope so. Finally, and this is a little bit scary to put this one on there, I'm putting Mary Ann Thayer, kind of the, the, the biggest trash talker in monkey ball history. Like, even more than you, she brings it. See, I'm, I'm still pretty nice, like, on the outside. She brings it. 
I'm scared of her sitting in a lawn chair, like talking smack from 50 yards away. She does something to me. I would love to see you guys play. I would not. Uh, just because I feel like when I beat her, it'd be worse afterwards. Oh, it could be worse. All right. Anyway, uh, that's our uh, that's our group predictions. Really, that's for who we see coming out. Uh, and we've got to cut this off. We had to move quickly, but I hope you've stuck with us. We'll see you next time.